The unspeakable has happened. A policeman arrested Mr. Darwin and carried him away as if he were nothing but a common criminal. That policeman, he is corrupt to the bones, I'm sure of it. I do so fear for Mr. Darwin's safety. Miss Nightingale, do you know where they might have gone? The policeman, he did mention a funeral. I believe I know where it is. Follow me. Poor Mr. Darwin has been through so much recently. Those people are trying to discredit a lifetime of work. It's disgraceful. And I fear Mr. Darwin is no longer the fit young man who once traveled the world. Here we are. The obsequies are taking place here. Go on. I will be waiting here. need you to answer some questions. Oh, you're a brash one, aren't you? It's been said. This is the culprit. I was just carrying out my orders. Look at me. Why would you want to kill me? Please, don't do it. Arresting an old man and dragging him off to Lord knows where is fine work indeed for a policeman. Now, sir, tell us where you were taken, Mr. Darwin. Though, I'm begging you. Spare my life. A man paid me to bring him to his secret base. How terrible. We will need transportation. Steady on. Who's a good horse? You are. That's a girl. <laughs> That's it. Shall we? He's very weak. We shouldn't move Mr. Darwin until I have seen to his wounds. They're here! Attack! I 
Rest up, Mr. Darwin. My sister and I will be along shortly. Look who's here. We were very worried about you, sir. You're looking spry for a fossil, sir? A man's friends are the best measure of his worth. I'm proud to count you among mine. The dangers pass us. No need to leave, sir. What Mr. Darwin needs now is rest. To that end, he's joining his family on the Isle of Wight. Rest, indeed. I shall start work on my next book. I must insist that you recuperate quietly, sir. The acquisition of knowledge is in itself sufficiently recuperative. Go, tell her. This is one fight I aim to avoid, sir. Thank you for everything, my friends. Ideas, like people, can only thrive when they're free.